Wales television event. Presented by Professor Abdullah Yusuf Ribado, one of our former vice chancellor. Your Excellency, is Honourable Honourable Governor of Adamawa State, Honourable Amadou Amadou Fintiri. Your Excellency, Mala Adamawa Adamawa, Minister of Education, also represented by the former vice chancellor of Professor Abdullah Yusuf Ribado. Our Chancellor, His Royal Highness Okuku Owa Omo Adiaka, the second JP. The Post Chancellor and Chamber of Council, Alaji Bashi M. Dalatu, the Waziri of Duse. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdullah Liman Tukur. His Royal Highness, the Lion of Adamawa, represented by the Gladine of Adamawa. His Royal Highness, the Chair of Bono. Uh, the Israel Highness, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Sultan of Sokoto, here present. Um, the Honorary Degree Awardees, His Excellency, Alaji uh, Dr. Um, Alaji Ari Bobo. Also, we have in our midst here Mr. Boni Haruna, one of our Executive Governor of Adamawa State, former. Your Highness is present, relative of the distinguished invited guests. Members of the press, you are welcome to the Sunday Convocation Ceremony of the Multiple Adama University, Yola. This is the Sunday Convocation Ceremony of this university. The second to be held under the leadership of Professor Abdullah Liman Tukur, the Vice Chancellor of the University. Please let's put our hands together for all our distinguished visitors. Okay, I was just informed that uh, we have here in our midst the, only the Sheikh of Borno, the Swahili Hannes Alaji, Sheikh uh, Dr. Abakar Ibn Uman Garbe, El Karimi. Uh, we are informed that the Sheikh Hannes, the Sheikh uh, Sultan of Sokoto, is at the airport, they are on their way. So the procession will be delayed for some minutes, awaiting the arrival of the Sultan of Sokoto around the future. While we await the arrival, please, police bank, can you help us with the interlude of the procession? Okay. So, I don't know what they might do register for the procession, Mr. So register. Sir. known as Modibo Adama University of Technology, Federal University of Technology, EOLA, decree number 37 of the 1st January 1988, empowers the university to grant degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions, as well as to award medals, prizes, and other titles. It also provides that the chancellor shall preside at all meetings of convocation for the purpose of awarding degrees. I therefore humbly invite the Chancellor, His Royal Majesty, Okuku Uomo Adiaka III JP, to constitute this assembly as convocation for the purpose of conferring degrees, diplomas, certificates, and award of prizes. Your Majesty, sir. and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Visitor, Your Excellencies, Members of the National Assemblies, Honorable Ministers and Commissioners, my Lords, Your Highnesses, Members of Council and Senate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, by the authority vested on me, i.e. the Chancellor, I constitute this assembly as convocation for the purpose of award of certificates, diplomas, decrees, and prizes. It is my honor and privilege to respectfully call upon the Chancellor, His Royal Majesty, Dr. Okuku Uwa Umu Adiaka III, to deliver his address. Your Majesty, sir.
take the speech of the Chancellor on his behalf. His Royal Majesty Okukuwa Umo Adiaka III on the occasion of this 27th Convocation Ceremony of Modi Boadema University on this 13th day of May 2023. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Zubari, GCFR. Your Excellency, the Governor of Adamawa State, Right Honorable Amadou Omaru Fintri, Honorable Minister of Education, Your Royal Highnesses, the Pro-Chancellor, the Vice-Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the 27th Convocation of Modi Boadama University, Yola. I am delighted to witness and participate in this important ceremony when we gather to celebrate achievements, success, and the confirmation of honorary degrees. This success is not only for the graduating students, but a great achievement for the management and staff of the university. To all of you, I say a big thank you. Convocation marks a significant transition, one of the most important of your lives, from students to alumni, from scholarly activity to work, travel, further study, and whatever life next holds for you. I have a gleaming vision of you in my heart. What I see are remarkable achievements as you take your skills into a world that still needs you. I can say today with great pride that you, as a collection of scholars, have proved yourselves to be hardworking and full of promise. My dear graduates, this university is known for excellence, guided by knowledge and humanism as its motto. To achieve this great mission, I encourage you to live up to the challenges of our times and unite to develop our dear country. As I join you all to celebrate your awards, certificates, and great moments, I sincerely thank you, parents, guardians, for the generous support of your children in achieving this feat. It is my prayer that, you, that your expectations be fulfilled. Finally, I thank the management and council of the institution for the great efforts to sustain the university at these difficult and trying moments. May God Almighty help us to build a good and prosperous nation. Once more, I thank you all. Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Alaji Bashir M. Al Hatu, to deliver his address. Pro Chancellor, sir. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Your Excellency. The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, Your Excellency, the Governor of Adamao State, Right Honorable Ahmadu Umaru Fintry, members of the National Assembly, Honorable Minister of Education, Malang Adamu Adamu, other members of the Federal Executive Council present, members of the State House of Assembly and the Executive Council, members of Adamawa State, the Chancellor of Multiple Adam University, Yola, His Royal Majesty, Okuku Uwa Omo Adiaka III, Your Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, your Highness the Shehu of Borno, Your Royal Highness the Lamid of Adamawa, as represented, Elder Statesman and Captain of Industries, Vice Chancellor and members of the Governing Council, Senate Congregation of the University. Graduating students, parents and guardians, gentlemen of the press, 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am specially privileged and honored to welcome you today to the 27th Convocation Ceremony of Modibo Adama University, Yola. This convocation is coming at a particularly critical juncture in the history of this country and is therefore time for reflection of a new beginning for universities in Nigeria. The university system in the country just emerged from an industrial arrest followed by challenges in the economy, a general election, and we are about to witness a transition of power from one government to another. I express my gratitude to President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, for the care and understanding he has always extended to this institution. The Governing Council wishes to ensure our visitor that we have him in our prayers and we wish him well. I'd like to welcome the Executive Governor of Adamao State, His Excellency Ahmadu Umaru Fintri, and the members, uh, members of his entourage. We appreciate you and your government for the conducive atmosphere your state has given our university to carry on our activities. Despite the above mentioned issues, the Modibo Adama University, Yola, is able to successfully manage its own transition from a university of technology to a conventional one. The fact that this great university is organizing its convention is a reflection of our resilience to ensure that Modibo Adama University, Yola, functions normally and that we have not lost track of our mandate despite all challenges. We are here in this convention to present to you our graduates from various disciplines who have, whom we have found worthy in character and learning. Despite the challenges we are passing through as university in Nigeria, we have been able to sustain the quality of delivery to students at all levels of learning. Apart from prompt release of results, we ensure that our calendar is consistently complied with to ensure smooth implementation of our various plans. Furthermore, the university obtained full accreditation from the National Universities Commission for its various academic programs and establish new ones in accordance with the, its academic brief. Our university is also hopeful of regaining full accreditation for all its programs following the recent resource verification of two of our programs by the NUC. We appreciate the Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, Professor Abubakar Rashid, for his support and understanding of all our challenges. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to mention that the university's transition from a technology-based institution to a conventional one is going on smoothly, and that the Governing Council will ensure that the institution successfully implements what is planned to achieve. We shall superintend the introduction of new programs that will not only expand access to university education to our children, but also to provide highly skilled manpower that will drive the nation's economy in the near future. In this regard, I invite all women in Nigerians to extend their goodwill to this great institution, which has tremendous promise and it under, uh, as it undertakes 
is expansion drive. To graduates, let me once again congratulate you on achieving this important milestone in your life. Your graduation today makes you not only an alumni of this university, but its ambassador wherever you are. Your training here in the Modibo Adama University, Yola, no doubt has prepared you for industry, self-reliance, and motivation to see you through the challenges of life as they are outside the confines of the university campus. I urge you to join the Alumni Association and contribute your quota to the continued existence and the excellence of the university by, <clears throat> by being worthy ambassadors of this institution and who are prepared to protect the image of the university at all times. My congratulations also go to the parents and guardians and well-wishers of the graduates who have seen them through these difficult but necessary years. Their joy today is also yours because you played a major role in bringing it about. Finally, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me use this opportunity to thank the Adamawa State Government once again, our host state, for the support and cooperation extended to us in numerous areas and at various occasions. We also thank the academic and non-academic staff of the university the neighboring communities, parents and sponsors of students, and many other stakeholders for partnering with us to ensure that the university is achieving its mandate. With this, I thank you very much for listening. Long live Modibo Adamo University, Yola. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to respectfully call upon the Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdullah Limantuku, to deliver his address. The Vice Chancellor, sir. to the University, President Muhammadu Buhari, EJFR, as ably represented by Professor Abdullah Yusuf Ribadu, His Excellency, Right Honorable Amadou Marufintri, the Executive Governor of Adama State, our Royal Fathers, esteemed honorary degree awardees, distinguished invited guests, council members, Senate, other members of the university community, our dear graduating students. On behalf of the Modibo Adama University Yola community, I welcome you all to the 27th convocation for the award of first degrees, higher degrees, certificates and diplomas, as well as honorary degrees. From its establishment as a Federal University of Technology Yola, way back in 1981, to its present state and status as Modibo Adama University Yola, this institution has emerged through a series of changes First, it was merged with the University of Meiduguri in 1984, later demerged in 1988, and in, and in 2006, this university became a dual mode institution, offering both regular programs and the open and distance learning mode, translating to an upset in students' enrollment and development of more academic programs. In 2011, the name of the university was changed by a president to become known as Modipo Adama University of Technology, Yola. These changes were accommodated and did not disrupt our internal dynamics much. But in 2016, again by an executive fiat, programs offered in the then School of Management and Information Technology, 
now rebranded as Faculty of Social and Management Sciences, were delisted, a decision which immediately led to serious drop in students' admission. In our quest to remain relevant and competitive with the new universities in the Northeast, we pushed for the conversion from a specialized university to a conventional one, a move that enjoyed touring support of the government and people of Adama State, with His Excellency Right Honorable Amadou Marufintri personally leading the advocacy to Mr. President in August 2019. The bill for the conversion enjoyed a smooth ride through the National Assembly, and Mr. President assented to the bill in January 2021, thus making us a conventional university Modibo Adama University, Ola. I am indeed excited to report to this convocation gathering that the conventional status of the university has opened new doors and avenues for the institution, the state, and the region. So much has happened since the attainment of the conventional status, and the future even looks much brighter. The vision, mission, and core values of the university were refocused under a new motto of knowledge and humanism. Under the new Modibo Adama University, Yola, a number of milestones have been achieved. The College of Medical Sciences has taken off with basic infrastructure in place and the first set of 100 students matriculated. And because of it, the then Federal Medical Center, Yola, has been upgraded to Modibo Adama University Teaching Hospital, Yola. We have fully recovered all the programs in the Social and Management Sciences faculty and have also added two new departments. The Faculty of Law is to commence admission of students in the next admission exercise. The recovery of programs with denied accreditation has also been achieved. And we recently matriculated over 6,000 students, the institution record best in the last four years, reversing a downward trend in students' admission. The ongoing transition and growth of our over four decades old rebranded institution is today witnessing yet another unprecedented accomplishment. Our four honorary degree awardees this morning are notable Nigerians that any university in the world will be proud to have in its fold. We have His Eminence the Sultan of Sokoto, Al Hajisad Abubakar CFR MNI, who represents royalty by excellence and exemplifies strength of character, compassion, peace and uncommon commitment to peaceful coexistence. We have al Haji Muhammad in the OFR, an accomplished entrepreneur committed to the service of humanity and distinguished philanthropist whose humanitarian services cut across sectors and nations. His Excellency Boni Haruna, former governor of Adama State, is a representation of all that is good of the political class, humble, forthright, and strategic in administrative and political alignments. Al Hajid Ahiru Bobo, OFR, is a seasoned technocrat of unparalleled grit in nurturing young education seekers. He has also demonstrated capacity and courage in managing institutions and agencies within and across borders. We thank you all for accepting to be part of us and being with us, traveling the long distances despite your schedules, to not just receive the award of honorary degrees, but to give opportunity to our younger generations to see you live on our campus shining examples of elders in various fields of endeavor. My dear students, graduates and colleagues, today I have chosen not to bore you with litany of our problems in order not to divert attention from the excellence and extraordinary life and services to humanity our painstakingly chosen awardees represent, and to plead with us all to reflect on and emulate in various ways in our respective endeavors the virtues these great Nigerians represent. Your Excellencies, our Royal Fathers, distinguished invited guests, as I congratulate our graduates in the various categories today, and as your host, I once again welcome you to Modi Badama University, Yola, and enjoin you to be receptive to our warm hospitality. Thank you very much. Chancellor, sir, the following persons 
who will be presented by the director's of degree program have fulfilled the requirements of the regulations of the Modibo Adama University, EOLA, and have been found worthy both in character and learning for the award of certificates and diplomas of this university. I therefore invite the director of degree program to present the graduating diploma student. Will the graduating uh, certificate and diploma students of Modibo Adama University, Yola, please stand and remain standing. Chancellor, sir, in the name of sub degree coordinating directorate and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the book of proceedings, pages 27 to 37, those present and those absent, for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of certificates and diplomas of the Modibo Adama University Yola. I read for my chancellor. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the certificates and diplomas of the Modi Adama University, Yola. You may be seated. Admissions to first degrees. Chancellor, sir, the following persons who will be presented by the deans of faculties and directors of Center for Distance Learning have fulfilled the requirements and the regulations of the Modi Adama University, Yola and have been found worthy both in character and learning for the award of degree certificates of this university. May I therefore invite the Dean Faculty of Agriculture to present the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Agriculture. The Dean Faculty of Agriculture. Bachelor's, bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Agriculture, please stand and remain standing. Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Agriculture and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the Book of Proceedings, pages 38 to 44, those present and those absent for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degree of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. Thank you. You may be seated. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Education to present the graduating bachelor's degree student in the faculty, Dean Faculty of Education. Will the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Education, including those under sandwich degree program, please stand and remain standing. <laughs> Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Education and the authority of Senate, 
I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the book of proceedings, pages 44 to 60, those present and those absent for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in bold character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degree of the Madubo Adama University, Iola. By the, by the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Modi Badama University, Yola. May I invite, you may sit please. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Engineering to present the graduating bachelor's degree student of the faculty, Dean Faculty of Engineering. Will the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Engineering please stand and remain standing? Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Engineering and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the Book of Proceedings, pages 60 to 66, those present and those absent for whom I stand proxy who had been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degrees of the Motibo Adama University, Yola. <coughs> By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Motibo Adama University, Yola. Please take your seat. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Environmental Sciences to present the graduating bachelor's degree of the faculty, Dean Environmental Sciences. With the graduating bachelor's degree students in the faculty of environmental sciences, please stand and remain standing. <coughs> in the name of the Faculty of Environmental Sciences and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the Book of Proceedings, pages 67 to 75, those present and those absent, for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the Bachelor's of Degree of the Modibo Adama University, Eola. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Modi Adama University in Yola. Please, you may sit there. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Life Sciences to present the graduating bachelor's degree student in the faculty, Faculty of Life Sciences. Will the graduating bachelor degree students in the Faculty of Life Sciences please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Chancellor Sir, in the name of the Faculty of Life Sciences and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the book of proceedings, pages 76 to 85. Those present and those absent, for whom I stand proceed who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degree of the Montego Agama University, Yola. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. Be seated. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Physical Sciences to present the graduate, graduating bachelor's degree students in the faculty. Dean, Faculty of Physical Sciences. Will 
the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Physical Sciences, please stand and remain standing. Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Physical Sciences and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following graduates whose names appear in the Book of Proceedings, pages 86 to 96. Those present and those absent, for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degree of the Modi Adama University, Yola. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally a bachelor's degree of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. May I be seated, please? Thank you. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Social and Management Sciences to present the graduating bachelor's degree student in the faculty, the Dean Faculty of Social and Management Sciences. Will the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences please stand and remain standing? Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences and the authority of the Senate, I present to you the following graduates, whose names appear in the books of proceedings, pages 96 to 116. Those present and those absent, for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degree of the Bodhibadama University, Yola. By the authority of Senate, I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Bodhibadama University, Yola. Please take your seats. May I invite the Director Center for Distance Learning to present the graduating bachelor's degree student in her center, the Dean Faculty to Dean Center for Distance Learning. appear in the book of proceedings that is 116 to 126 those present and those absent for whom I stand proxy who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be admitted to the bachelor's degrees of Modi Boadama University Yola. By the authority of Senate I award you all and severally the bachelor's degree of the Modipo Adama University, Yola. You may be seated. We'd like to welcome the arrival of the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, Al Haji Abu Bakar Saad. We 
would like to welcome once again the arrival of the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Al Haji Abu Bakr Saad, CFR. Also, the Lamido of Adamawa, who is represented by the Kaladima Adamawa, Al Haji Mustafa Aminu. You are welcome. Admissions, admissions to higher degrees. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies to present those students who have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of the Modibo Adama University Eola and have been found worthy in character and learning to be admitted to the higher degree of this university. Dean School of Postgraduate. With the recipients of the postgraduate diplomas and master's degree, please stand and remain standing. Chancellor, sir, in the name of School of Postgraduate Studies and by the authority of Senate, I present to you the following persons whose names appear on the book of proceedings, pages 127 to 146, those present and those absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be awarded postgraduate diplomas and master's degrees, master's degree of Dodubadama University, Yola. As always, I read for my chancellor. By the authority of Senate, I admit you all and severally to the postgraduate diploma and master's degrees of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. You may be seated. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies to present those students who have fulfilled the requirements of the statutory and regulations of the Modibo Adama University, Yola and have been found worthy in character and learning to be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Modibo Adama University, Eola. Will the graduating PhD candidates please stand? <laughs> Chancellor, sir, in the name of School of Postgraduate Studies and by the authority of Senate, I present to you the following persons whose names appear on the book of proceedings, pages 147 to 151, those present and those absent, and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning to be awarded degrees of Doctor of Philosophy of Modibo Adama University, Yola. By the authority of Senate, I admit you all and severally to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of the Modi Adama University, Yola. Congratulations. The PhD candidates will move to the podium, take a bow before the Chancellor and return to your seat. Take up. Uh, yes.
Thank you. You may all be seated. Chancellor, sir, may I invite the chairman, lecturer and award of rises, Professor Abraham Okolo, to present to the chancellor the best graduating students who have excelled during their course of study. Professor Abraham Okolo, please. Chancellor, sir, I present to you the names of the award recipients for 2020-2021 academic session. For the purpose of time, we shall be inviting only awards by the Chancellor, the Pro-Chancellor, and the Vice-Chancellor for the purpose of time. All other award recipients kindly go through the book of proceedings. You will find your names on pages 152 to pages 154. Thank you. The Chancellor's Prize for the overall best writing student in this university, Emmanuel Emmanuel, CGPA 4.88. Please. Come out and have a handshake with the Chancellor. Number two. Uh, please, uh, I will be calling the names of all of them since there are not many. As I call your name, please come out and have a handshake with the Chancellor. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, please go and have a handshake, a handshake with the Chancellor. The Pro Chancellor's Prize for the best male writing student. Again, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. The Vice Chancellor's Prize for the best female writing student, Solomon Josephine, CGPA 4.71. The Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Agriculture, Samson Kegama, CGPA 4.77. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Education, Yakubu Emmanuel Alura, CGPA 4.74. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Engineering, Kabiru Muhammad Muhammad, CGPA 4.64. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Environmental Sciences, Onuche Matthew Emmanuel, CGPA 4.74. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Life Sciences, Laban Daniel, CGPA 4.78. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Physical Sciences, Emmanuel Emmanuel. Dean's Prize for the best writing student in the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences. Here we have two graduates. John Simon, CGPA 4.67, and Omomade Joseph Israel, CGPA 4.67. Director's Prize for the best writing student in the Center for Distance Learning, Abubakar Aminu, CGPA 4.72. Director's Prize for the best writing student in the Sandwich Unit, Yeldun Zumji Gojan, CGPA 4.61. Other prizes. 
late Professor J.F. Ade Ajayi's Prize for the best writing student in industrial mathematics, Musa Al Qasim Hassan. CGPA 4.60. Late Professor Michael Egurube's Prize for the best writing student in mathematics with economics. Indy Alfred, CGPA 3.85. Head of Department of Soil Science Prize for the best writing student in soil science. Modibo Musa Yaya. CGPA 4.10. Salihu Garbas Prize for the best writing student in geology. Kenneth Chukwe Meka Jesse. CGPA 4.55. Dr. Polikap Ishaku Mikloda's Prize for the best writing student in agricultural economics and extension, Ibrahim Hasia Foman, CGPA 4.49. Yusuf Jibrin Adams Price, for the best writing student in statistics, Suleiman Iliasu Bellu, CGPA 4.53. Abdul Hussein's Price, for the best writing student in operations research, Aliu Biliamino Hamisu, CGPA 4.47. Nigeria Institute of Architects Adamawa State Chapters Prize for the best writing student in architecture, Akintola Philip Oluwa Bukumi, CGPA 4.54. Modibo Adama University Alumni Christian Fellowship Prize for the best female writing student, Solomon Josephine, CGPA 4.71. Tame Kia Foundation Prize for the best female writing student in crop production, Susan Mack. Ogechuku, CGPA 3.98. And lastly, Alex Yazatami Prize for the best writing student in Adamawa State Indigen in the Faculty of Agriculture, Solomon Josephine, 4.71. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Confirmant of honorary degrees. <laughs> Chancellor, sir, by the unanimous decision of both Senate and Council of the Modibo Adama University, EOLA, and in recognition of the distingu disting distinguished, meritorious, and dedicated service bestowed onto our nation and humanity by Alhaji Lahiru Bobo Oefa, His Excellency, Mr. Boni Haruna. Alhaji Muhammad Indimi OFR, His Eminence Alhaji Muhammad Saad Abubakar III, CFR, the Sultan of Sokoto. It was resolved to confer on them respectfully with the degrees of Doctor of Letters, Doctor of Science, Doctor of Management, and Doctor of Law of the Modibo Adama University, Eola. Permit me to therefore call on the University Orator, Dr. John Kamsa and Dr. Fatima Joda to present the honorary graduates for their degrees, honoris causa.
Mr. Chancellor, standing with you before this convocation is a prominent Nigerian whose track record of achievements are not only noticeable but outstanding in the history and development of Nigeria and Africa at large. Al Haji Dahiru Bobo, the Amadami Adamawa OFR, is famously known as a great philanthropist, a patriot, a diligent technocrat, and a well respected elder statesman whose sense of educational mentorship has benefited nearly all of us at this convocation ground. Mr. Chancellor, this great Nigerian was born on the 1st January 1944 at Dagri village in Gire local government of Adamawa State. Dahiru Bobo obtained a higher grade two certificate in 1966 from Teachers Training College Bauchi. He attended Abdullahi Bayero College of Ahmadubilla University and graduated with a bachelor's degree in history from where he joined the services of the Northeastern State Ministry of Education. Shortly after, Dahiru Bobo got employed into the Northeast College of Arts and Sciences with degree as an assistant lecturer in 1972. He was at the famous University of Wisconsin, Madison, where he obtained a master's degree in educational administration in 1973. Coming back to Nigeria and on changing his career from academic to registry, Alajid Ahiru Bobo's professional commitment as an administrator found a new scope when he became the registrar of the University of May degree from 1978 to 1972. As the registrar of the University of Midugui, Al Haji Ahiru Bobo made indelible contributions to nurture the young university into a full fledged and highly reputable institution of higher learning. Mr. Chancellor, while still in service and due to his good administrative skills in management, Ahiru Bobo was appointed as the secretary to the state military government and head of service in the then Gongola state, where he served from 1984 to 1987. He became the zonal commissioner with the National Population Commission, where he found himself in the creeks, the forest of Niger Delta, and other stretches of South-South region, supervising the enumeration of villages for population census from 1988 to 1992. Another chapter of Alaji Dahiru Bobo came in handy between 1999 to 2006, when he became the Director General of the Boundary Commission, where his commendable negotiating skills led to the resolution of several land and boundary disputes. By his good offices, 75 out of 85 inherited volatile boundary disputes were resolved and peacefully attended to. While still the Director General of the Commission, he undertook strategic and bold steps to handle many international and maritime border boundary disputes with Nigeria's neighboring countries. As a diplomat par excellence, al Ajid Ahir Bobo supported the agenda of the straddled oil fields along Nigeria Equatorial Guinea maritime border, thus paving way for the amicable exploration of petroleum resources to the benefits of both countries. This singular act inducted him in 2002 into the order and honor equivalent of the commander of the order of the Federal Republic in Nigeria. In addition to a number of his political engagements, Dair Bobo has contested and won the senatorial representation of Adama Central under the platform of the United Nigeria Congress Party, UNCP. Although scuttled before inauguration in 1998, he, however, maintained a consistent participation in politics, the gains of which have earned him additional establishment responsibilities when appointed and served as commissioner with the Federal Character Commission in 2008. In the same line, and given to his high sense of diligence, commitment, and fair play, he also became the Commissioner Public Complaints Commission, PCC, in 2012. Take the mic closer to the Yes. Mr. Chancellor, allow me to briefly emphasize that alleged Ahir Bobo's life has been challenging, exemplary, and astonishing. It is also important to mention that the present site of the university 
is part of the ancestral land of Alajit Ahiru Bubu, willingly given for this purpose it is serving today. His commitment to the development of education and boundary disputes resolutions in and outside Nigeria indeed has also been outstanding and clearly related to the research and mandate of this university. For these qualities of character and patriotism exhibited by these men of the people, I hereby appeal to the Chancellor and Congregation of Modipo Adama University to graciously confer to al Hajid Ahiru Bobo the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa. Thank you, sir. By the authority of, by the authority vested in me as Chancellor, and in the name of Senate and Council, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa of Modibo Adema University, Yola. <laughs> May I invite His Excellency, Mr. Boni Haruna.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I'm pleased and proud to present to you His Excellency Mustaboni Haruna, a patient leader reputed with impeccable character, proven integrity, transparent honesty, and forthrightness. A man of extraordinary vitality, courage, great administrative ability, and above all, a committed servant to community and country. Born on June 12, 1957, in Kubur Shosho, in Michigan local government area of Adamawa State, Mr. Boni Haruna was initially educated at the Comprehensive Secondary School, Numan. He studied political science at Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, and later attended the University of Jos for a master's degree in public administration in 1987. Mr. Boni Haruna worked in both the public and private sectors of the economy. In the public sector, he rose to the rank of principal assistant registrar at the College of Education, Jalingo, Taraba State. At various times, he also served as examination officer and academic secretary of the college. Mr. Boni Haruna joined politics very early in life. As an undergraduate in 1982, he became the youth leader of the defunct Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, in the former Gongola state, present Adamawa and Taraba states. During this period, he served as a close aide to the then gubernatorial candidate of the UPN, the late Reverend Wilson Sabia. In 1992, Mr. Boni Haruna became the only personal assistant, equivalent to chief of staff, to the first civilian governor of Taraba State, Reverend Joe Linyame. Mr. Boni Haruna was believed to have cut his teeth in leadership and administrative and administration while serving in Taraba as the most trusted aide of the governor. It was therefore not surprising that in 1999, Mr. Boni Haruna was elected as deputy governor in his home state of Adamawa on the same ticket with His Excellency Atiku Abubakar as governor. As fate will have it, Mr. Boni Haruna was later sworn in as governor along with his former principal in Taraba State. He was re-elected to the position in 2003. As per setter that he is, Mr. Boni Haruna became the first elected As the first setter he is, Mr. Boni Haruna became the first elected governor to serve Adamawa State for two terms, totaling eight years. Barely seven years after leaving office as governor, Mr. Boni Haruna's towering personality could not be eclipsed. In 2014, he was appointed to the Federal Executive Council as the Honorable Minister in charge of the Federal Ministry of Youth Development. As governor, he made landmark decisions and achieved milestone records in various sectors of public life, particularly in the area of education, which he leveled as his priority number one, number two, and number three. He established Adam House State University in the face of stiff opposition to the decision. He became the first visitor to the first state university in the northeastern Nigeria. 
Mr. Boni Haruna returned or reintroduced boarding in the secondary school system with full feeding after the deboarding policy of about 20 years. During Mr. Boni Haruna's tenure as governor, Adamawa State was the best performing state in universal basic education, UB projects in Nigeria. He completed all inherited projects from preceding administrations, some of which started over 20 years before his administration in 1999. Among the landmark projects he completed include the State of the Art State Secretariat and the House of Assembly Complex, which have remained exemplary benchmark symbols for administrative operations in the country. Mustaboni Haruna renovated infrastructural facilities in all the schools in Adamawa State and was the first governor to pay all foundational examination fees, such as NECO, WIAC, JAM, etc., to all eligible Adamawa State students. He was also credited for introducing a revolving car loan scheme for teachers through which over 5,000 benefited. Mustaboni Haruna equally introduced the novel policy of owner-occupier housing scheme, which enables civil servants own houses with ease. To serve this purpose, a primary mortgage institution, Adamao Homes and Savings, was established for effective implementation of the policy. Mustaboni Haruna is the recipient of many awards and honors. Prominent among them are French National Honor, Grand Officer de la Grey National du Mirish. <laughs> Fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Journalism. Honorary doctorate degree from Adamao State University movie. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, it is a recognition of his great achievements and untiring zeal to promote education by all means, at all times, and at all levels that he is recognized by this university. It is also in appreciation of his unrivaled dedication to service, discipline to public policy, timeless sacrifice to public good, commitment to morality and ethical uprightness, among others, that this refined politician, smart administrator, and celebrated journalist. His Excellency, Mr. Boni Haruna, is being presented. On behalf of the Senate and Congregation of Modibo Adama, University Eola, I'm pleased to request that you kindly confer on His Excellency, Mr. Boni Haruna Maka Mamubi, the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Thank you. The Chancellor is reading. By the authority vested in me as Chancellor, and in the name of Senate and Council, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa of Modibo Adama University, Yola. Thank you. Um, while the program was going on, we were joined by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, 
Professor Babagana Umar Azulum. May we put our hands together to welcome him, please. <laughs> Professor Zulum came alongside in his own church, Senator Ali Ndumi. Please, those in the field, I'd like to ask you to stick to protocol. Let us provide space for the awards, please. Shift back. I invite Alhaji Muhammad Indimi, OFR. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I am excited to present to you Al Haji Muhammad Indimi, OFR, a famous Nigerian businessman, a renowned entrepreneur, and indeed a distinguished philanthropist, whose name and works have gone beyond the borders of Nigeria and Africa. Al Haji Muhammad Indimi is reputed for compassion and advocacy of human happiness. He is a man whose main business is to improve the human condition and provide sustainable hope for humanity. Al Haji Muhammad Indimi started from a humble beginning and rose to higher levels in his life. He is also admired by many for his hard work, selfless, tireless, and timeless service to humanity. He was born in Maiduguri 76 years ago to a trading family. His father was a renowned merchant in hearts, in eyes and skin in his time. Today, Al Haji Muhammad Indimi's business acumen and achievements are significant proof that he has been a very good student of his father who had introduced him to commercial transaction at the early age of 10. Among many other entrepreneurship landmarks, he is the chairman and leading shareholder of Oriental Energy Resources a privately held Nigerian oil exploration and production company, which he founded in 1990. He also founded many other successful companies and serves on the Arab Board of Arab Contractors Nigeria Limited, Jais Bank PLC, International University of Africa, Sudan, etc. Al Haji Muhammad Indimi's exemplary leadership and philanthropic activities cut across education, healthcare, social welfare, housing, and critical humanitarian aid. He is admired for his groundbreaking works in countless sectors of public life. His characteristic simplicity, natural sympathy, celebrated commonality with the poor, and his breathless sense of charity have endeared him to everyone in all sectors of society. He is admired, loved, and respected sincerely and wholeheartedly by all. In this regard, Al Haji Muhammad Indimi established the Muhammadu Indimi Foundation to affect more lives everywhere. Muhammadu Indimi Foundation focuses on helping vulnerable families through poverty alleviation programs, as well as tackling hunger, illiteracy, and variety of health challenges facing humanity. Al Haji Muhammad Indimi has empowered and supported countless communities in his native Northeast who have been affected by Boko Haram insurgency. He built a multi-million Naira housing estate and provide, provided food, clothing, schools, and hospitals for the internally displaced persons in Borno and other parts of troubled region. The foundation also supports victims of terrorism, provides relief materials to flood victims, and offers scholarship to indigenous students. Muhammadu Indimi Foundation also established rehabilitation and skill training center to promote entrepreneurship among victims of insurgency. Al Haji Muhammad Indimi's passion in caring for the less privileged is captured in the following quotation. 
My life is dedicated to helping people. The displaced people touch my heart deeply, and we will not rest until the people settle back in their homes by giving them the support they need to make a meaningful livelihood and rebuild their legacies. <laughs> Al Haji Mohammed Indimi and his company are frontline contributors towards the empowerment of local communities. Through corporate social responsibility, one of his companies, Oriental Energy Resources, has touched the lives of thousands of people in hundreds of communities. It is a recognition of his track record of achievement and outstanding service to humanity that in 2012, he was conferred with the award of officer of the Federal Republic, OFR. He received an honorary doctorate from Lynn University, Florida, USA in 2013 and an honorary doctorate from University of Uyo in 2017. Al-Haji Muhammad Indimi won the Vanguard Newspaper Businessman of the Year Award in 2017. He is also a recipient of an honorary doctorate from the Nigerian Defense Academy in 2018. Al-Haji Muhammad Indimi's superlative achievements as an entrepreneur has endeared him to, his, to this university whose mission also includes entrepreneurship training for students. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it is in view of his outstanding contribution to business development in Nigeria, as well as his sustainable community development initiatives spread over several decades, that this great gentleman, Al-Haji Muhammad Indimi, is thus presented on this great day of his life. On behalf of the Senate and Congregation of Moti Boadama University, Eola, it is my pride and honor to present to you Al-Haji Muhammadu Indimi OFR for confirming of the degree of Doctor of Management, Honoris Causa. Thank you. On behalf of my Chancellor, I read, Congratulations. by the authority vested in me as Chancellor, and in the name of Senate and Council, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Management, Honoris Causa of Modi Adama University, Ola. I also like to recognize the presence of the Honorable Member House of Representatives. Yeah. Honorable Mohammed Tahiru Munguno, you are welcome, sir.
Mr. Chancellor, it's now our honor to invite His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, to come up for the Honoris Causa. It's now our honor to invite the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, to come up for the honorary degree. Mr. Chancellor, to become Sultan to the most populous black nation in the world obviously takes a remarkable person with a deep sense of spiritual commitment and service to humanity. His Eminence, Al Haji Muhammad Saad Al Bakar, CFR MNI, is just that person who is graciously the Sultan by the special giving of providence. Permit me, therefore, to present ad honorem the credentials and achievements of an uncommon hero, a great personality, a citizen of the world, and a credible monarch whose fame and goodwill allows this convocation to award him honoris causa. He was born on the 24th August 1956 in Sakwato, Nigeria, and is the son of the 17th Sultan, Letsa Abubakar Sadiq. Mohamed Abubakar attended Barewa College, Zaria, before proceeding to the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, for the 18th regular combatant course, where he was commissioned second lieutenant into the Nigerian Army Armored Elite Corps on the 17th December 1977. He retired as a Brigadier General on the 30th of December 2006 after 31 years of meritorious military service upon appointment as the Sultan of Sokoto. During his military career, he held various command and staff positions, the key ones being at the African Union peacekeeping operations in the Republic of Chad in 1981. He was also 201 Presidential Security Unit Commander in 1988. At combatant level, he practiced the terms of his training in battlecraft when he was appointed the commanding officer of 241 Reiki Battalion Kaduna in 1993. From 1995 to 1999, he was the ECOWAS military liaison officer and commanding officer, 231 Tank Battalion of the ECOMO Corporations in Sierra Leone, where he served until 2000. He also held the most challenging and tasking office of Nigeria's defense advisor to Pakistan with concurrent accreditations to Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states from 2003 to 2006. Mr. Chancellor, it is also good to note that His Royal Majesty attended various professional courses and seminars in Nigeria and abroad. The most engaging of all being the senior executive course number 28 at the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies in 2006. Little wonder then that the research at the famous institute captioned religious extremism as national security problem strategy for sustainable solutions aptly fits the ever-increasing ethno-religious problems of Nigeria, which the Sultan is tirelessly engaged in solving today. The Sultan is a great lover of people, quite amiable and affable, making himself highly exceptional and hospitable, putting diplomatic courtesy in bringing people of Nigeria together, Christians, Muslims, politicians, and non-politicians alike, to address issues of peace and security of Nigeria. Since 2019, he has been the co-moderator of the Council of Religion for Peace, and also remains the active member of the National Peace Committee. 
under his leadership, the Sultanate has played a pivotal role in the fight against religious extremism and terrorism in Nigeria. He has spoken out loudly against the activities of bandits and other insurgent groups and has urged Nigerians to reject all forms of instigation and ideologies capable of dividing to destroy Nigeria. In addition to being the current chancellor of the University of Ibadan, his eminence is a recipient of several honorary degrees from nearly all universities in Nigeria and countless other institutions at home and abroad. He is a recipient of the meritorious awards, decorations, medals, and mentions of achievements from nearly all regions of the world. Mr. Chancellor, let me summarize this citation with a quote from a great American poet whose kind words the Sultan very much exemplifies. I count him not great that can alter matter, but he that can alter the state of human mind. Working to change the minds of Nigeria, Nigerian people for positive development is what the Sultan has done and is continuously doing. For this general good and unity of Nigeria, his role in promoting peace and security in the country is found to be in tandem with these universities' mandate in training and research in the field of conflict resolution, peace promotion, and security management. For these achievements and other unmentionable contributions to humanity, his eminence, by his eminence, I, on behalf of the Senate and Congregation of Modipo Adama University, hereby invite the Chancellor to confer on Muhammadu Sa'ad Abu Bakr IV, CFR MNI, the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. <clears throat> I read for my Chancellor. By the authority vested in me as Chancellor, and in the name of Senate and Council, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa of the Modibo Adama University, Yola. Chancellor, sir, it is my honor and pleasure to call on His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, Elijah Muhammad Abubakar Saad the third CFR MNI, to deliver an acceptance speech on behalf of the honorary graduates. Your Eminence, sir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa sallallahu ala nabi al-Karim. The visitor to the university, our chief host, the governor of Adamawa State, the chancellor of the university, the Pro Chancellor, Chairman of Council, the Vice Chancellor, distinguished leaders of this great university, my colleagues, the honorary awardees, most notably the former Governor of Adamawa, Boni Haruna, Alaji Indimi, Dairo Bobo, distinguished graduates of this great university, distinguished ladies and gentlemen here present and those listening or watching, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
this day, the 13th day of May 2023, is another great day the Almighty Allah has given us to continue to thank Him for who we are, those He created without our prompting. Today, we are gathered at this historic university to witness the convocation of this university and award of degrees to deserving graduates. And we happen to be also receiving these degrees, honorary degrees by this university. On behalf of my colleagues, the other three awardees, let me express our gratitude to the leadership of this university for finding us worthy and fit for the award of honorary degrees at this 27th convocation holding here today at the historic city of Yola. As many of you are aware, as you will also know, Yola was established in 1841 by Modibo Adama as he concluded the jihad after collecting the flag from Sheikh Osman and Fodio to unite the different peoples and install justice and good governance in 1809. History have it that Modi Adama was born in a place called Sai in Bono State. You can now see the link between Fulanis and Borno people because Modibo Adama was born in Borno, between the towns of Dikwa and Marte. And he was taught, his first teacher was Malam Kari. I'm bringing this for you to know a little bit history about Modibo Adama, since most of us don't read. But we should know that Modibo Adama, as a Fulani, was born in Borno and got his early education in Borno before moving to Gwandu to collect the flag from Sheikh Othman Danfodio. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I personally consider this as a very great day, another great day to thank Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In my 16 years as Sultan, I have received over 15 honorary degrees from various universities and institutions. But this one in particular from this university is very special because of the link with the Sokoto Caliphate. I had to take time off to fly in one hour, 15 minutes from Sokoto to Yola to be able to come here for this very important award. I want to thank the university for this special award because we know the, the place of Adama in the history of Sokoto Caliphate. The name Modibo, all of you know, it means the learned one. And it also means the well-disciplined one. It is important we don't lose sight of the important fact that knowledge our tradition of learning, knowledge in our tradition of learning is organically linked to good character. I'm glad to note that the degrees you award at this university are still in character and in learning. I'm also happy to note, in sequencing the two, character comes even before learning, clearly underscoring the fact that knowledge without character is not beneficial to the individual as well as to the society. The leaders of Sokoto Caliphate were heirs to a tradition of learning and a tradition of nation building going back several centuries before the arrival of British colonizing forces. It represents a continuity in the established African tradition. It represents resilience over time. It represents an indigenous African effort at nation building and development. Because the caliphate was established by a network of scholars who were primarily teachers, it showed how scholarship was used to solve societal problems. It showed how scholars and their students organized themselves in the early ways then to address the socio-economic and governance problems of the society. 
the role that learning played in the 18th and 19th century Africa, especially in Sahel, which was then known as Bloody Sudan, is unique but not peculiar to our part of the world. Indeed, in Europe and Americas, from whence we got our modern ideas of nation building and development, it was knowledge mainly from Muslim Spain, then called the Andalus, that raised the awareness and broadened the horizons and propelled their societies to what they came to be. The simple profound lesson is that all these remain, all these remind us that knowledge remains the source of all good and no meaningful progress can be registered without recourse to knowledge. The corollary is also true. Ignorance is the source of all evil, and we must fight ignorance and promote knowledge if we are to avoid the debilitating problems we have today as a society. It is my hope that our universities will ensure that the knowledge we produce is infused with character relevant to our needs and particularly tailored to address the problems of our society. It's also my hope that governance is informed by the knowledge that our institutions of learning produce. The nexus between knowledge and policy is what gave many modern societies their grit and grip in public affairs. This is also in keeping with the tradition of the Sokhto Caliphate and indeed the great empires of Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. While I congratulate, I congratulate fellow awardees and the Modi Adama University, I wish to particularly salute the courage and dedication of the teachers, or let me say the lecturers, at the, for their dedication and courage as they struggle daily with scanty resources to educate the younger ones for the good future of the next generation. May Allah guide and reward you all for this priceless contribution to society. I mean, we appreciate you and we value your contribution as our teachers. While I speak on behalf of the other awardees, I will request Alaji Indimi to come forward and say some few words so as to raise hope for this institution of what he and all of us are going to do to improve the structural development of this institution. Because to whom, to whom much is given, much is required. And that's why I will end this my speech by requesting Alaji Indimi to come, to come and say some few words. Or well, if he wants to stand there and say something, we will all hear him. And I will carry the message with me wherever I go because we are part and parcel of this university, having your degrees. You didn't force us to come here. We value what you have given to us, and we thank you for also making us part of the family of Modibo Adama University. Thank you very much. May Allah, wa Allah continue to bless our leaders, and may Allah also bring peace and stability to our states, to our country, Nigeria, and to entire humanity. May Adama know peace and development, I mean, leader of Adam, I know that without justice, there, must, there will be no peace. And we thank you very much. And I will now give uh, the microphone to Alaji Indimi to say some few words. So, Alaji. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am really happy to be here although it's my second home. I'm happy to be here and obtain what I supposed to obtain long time ago. But good time is the best. So, now I am alma mater of this university. And I'm happy from today to be with you always to see what we can do to move this university forward again. Thank you and God bless you.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Let me first and foremost begin by extending my sincere apologies to His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, the visitor, His Excellency, the governor, and the management of this great institution for stepping into this ceremony lately. Let me also use this opportunity to convey my deep appreciation on behalf of the government and people of Borno State to this great university for honoring one of us, Alaji Mohamed Indemi, with honorary doctorate degree today. Sorry, his eminence is saying that he's not one of us. <laughs> we do respect our apologies. Uh, furthermore, I want to bring to a kind notice that Alaji Mohamed Indemi has received numerous award both within and outside the country. This is as a result of his enormous contribution to the growth and development of education. For your information, I also wish to bring to a kind notice that Alaji Mohamed Indemi has never seen the four walls of a classroom. And you heard how he speech, his speech. He has built numerous complexes in the University of Maiduguri and indeed universities across the globe. And inshallah, we believe he will do more to this very important university. <laughs> On behalf of the government of Borno State, I wish to convey my deep appreciation to the university for honoring all the awardees. And it is my sincere will that the university will continue to invest in their core mandate of promoting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics so that we can get more of our younger ones to create jobs. Thank you very much and wishing all of you best. Chancellor, sir, valedictory address. It is my honor to invite one of the graduates to make a valedictory address. One of their graduates. Please be fast. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, the Governor of Adamawa State, His Excellency, the Governor of Borno State, the Chancellor of Modibo Adama University, Yola, His Royal Majesty, His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Royal Highness, the Lamido of Yola, His Royal Highness, the, the Shehu of Borno the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council, our Amiable Vice-Chancellor, the University Senate, graduating students, parents, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My name is Emmanuel Emmanuel, and I am honored to stand before you today as a valedictorian. Fellow graduates, today is a defining milestone in our lives, and I felt so much pressure while writing this speech to share something uniquely profound but wholeheartedly relatable. It is no debate that we have proven ourselves to be one of the most resilient classes in the history of the Modibabdamo University, Yola. We have been through many battles, including a pandemic, and we have been through one of the longest strikes, a strike that made us spend 18 months in our final year. Despite these unfortunate events, 
we have made it to this moment we so earnestly and patiently waited for. Having overcome this obstacle, let us find strength to face future challenges. As I address all of you today, may I remark on points in my life why I overcame life vicissitudes. You will identify in your personal way with my struggle and journey to this stage. My academic achievement so far to today seems like a miracle to me. Not only that, my life as a whole is a part of miracle. My story has been a touching one and an inspiration to many like me. Having been orphaned from a very young age, it is still like a dream to be among the graduates today. Regarding this, my sincere gratitude goes to the, Modibo Adama University, the Board of Trustees of the Modibo Adama University Student Support Scheme and all who have met that scheme without which my graduation and that of other beneficiaries today might not have been possible. Modibo Adama University is a center of learning with various programs, one of which is industrial chemistry, where we were taught a lot of chemical and industrial processes applicable in solving, life, in solving real life problems. Here we found it to be true and undisputed that chemistry recreates nature. Graduation is a time of reminiscing on the past and looking onwards to the future. It is a time that we as graduates get together for one last hurry before moving on to greater adventures. Today I can say that we have accomplished our dreams. Therefore, as we reminisce on a year or perhaps a lifetime of triumphs forged through setbacks, be encouraged that we were born for such a time as this, to be fresh emerging graduates, to be fresh emerging leaders, busting onto the scene of a weary world that so desperately requires our light, energy, ingenuity, resilience, and vision. As fulfilling as today may seem, graduation is not the ultimate goal. We are to take everything this university and life and the world has taught us and go forth. This is our launching pad. Now, take flight and be of the conviction that Modibo Adama University gave us the quality education that we deserve and made all of us ready to transverse the road to success. May I, at this juncture, use this opportunity in this sphere of smiling faces to thank my mom and my dad of blessed memory and my sister, for I will not be the man I am today without their love and support. Finally, on behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank you all for joining us on this special occasion. Thank you and congratulations. Chancellor, sir, I now invite those institutions that have sent messages of goodwill and congratulations to us on this occasion of 27 convocation to present their goodwill messages. Vice Chancellor, University of Maiduguri, Adama State University, Vice Chancellor, Borno State University, Vice Chancellor, Nile University, Vice Chancellor, Federal University, Kashere, Vice Chancellor, Federal University, Wukari, the President, AUN, Vice Chancellor, Taraba State University, Adam, Federal University, Rector of Federal University, Move, uh, Federal Polytechnic Mubi, the Rector, Federal Polytechnic, Adam Alstead Yola, the Provost, College of Education, Hong, the Vice Chancellor, Federal University of Technology, Mina. As I call your name, please, can you come and submit your goodwill messages?
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and privilege to invite His Excellency the Executive Governor of Hadamawa State, Right Honorable Amadou Maru Fintri, for his convocation address. Your Excellency, sir. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari GCFR, ably represented by Professor Ribadu Abdullah Yusuf, my brother and friend, the Governor of Borno, Professor Zulu, members of the National Assembly that are with us here, members of the Adama State House of Assembly, members of the Adama State Executive Council, the Chancellor of Modibo Adama University, His Royal Highness, Majesty Okoko Owa Omo Adeaka III, the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council, Alaji Bashir Muhammad al Hatu, Your Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, Abakar Saad Sefar, your Royal Highness is the Shah of Borno. Your Royal Highness, the Lamid of Adama Ebro represented, the Vice Chancellor of Modibo Adama University, Professor Abdullahi Liman Tukur, members of the Governing Council, Senate, Congregation of the Modibo Adama University, Yola, graduating students, parents of graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm greatly honored to be here again on the campus of Modibo Adama University, Yola, to grace the 27th Convocation Ceremony of the University. I congratulate the University for attending this feat and also congratulate the graduates and this year's Honorary Doctorate Award recipients. I was here for a Convocation Ceremony like this in October 2021. I'm made to understand that the prolonged industrial strike embarked upon by the academic staff union of the universities was partly responsible for the reason why the ceremony could not hold in 2022. As a visitor to Adama State University, Mubi, I'm conversant with the kind of effort required to put an event like this together in Nigeria, especially when the university commits to holding it annually. I know the tax is a Herculean one, but I also do know that my friend and brother, the Vice Chancellor, is equal to it. Once again, I congratulate Modibo Adama University for this, and more importantly, for having Professor Abdullahi Liman Tuku at this time. <laughs> this year's honorary doctorate degree are bestowed on four distinguished personalities. There are indeed can't be better Nigerians deserving of this honor than this man. His Eminence, the Sultan Abubakar Saad III, is a true embodiment of royalty and spirituality. Before his accession to the throne of his ancestors, he has had a fulfilled career in the military. As a soldier, he wasn't just an officer for the, of the Armored Corps, but also a diplomatic soldier, having commanded the OAE troop mission in Africa and served as the military rising officer for ECOWAS. I congratulate his eminence for his recognition, and I wish him more years of service to Nigeria and the world. As a child growing up in Gulag Town, Madagascar local government, which is the closest commercial area in Adama to Borno, Whenever a mention is made of classic example of success in business in the entire Northeast, one of the most prominent names that has consistently featured is Dr. Muhammadu Indimi. It has been so since the 70s, and the fame has increased by the day. When the Vice Chancellor sought for my assistance to reach out to him for this recognition, even as a governor, the role of an MS3 was a privileged one I was ever willing to play. 
Dr. Indimi hasn't just made success as a businessman, he has mastered the act of benevolence. His targeted philanthropy is making great impact globally. He is more than an indigenous of Borno or a citizen of Nigeria. Indimi is a citizen of the world. I congratulate Muhammadu Indimi for this recognition and urge him to continue to be a source of inspiration to us as he continues to put smiles on the faces of humanity. His Excellency Governor Boni Haruna is my elder brother. His service to Adama State has remained commendable. He has been a good friend of Modibo Adama University. The donations of a hostel and a land to the university by the Adama State government were made under his leadership. I commend the university for honoring this friendship. I congratulate my elder brother, His Excellency Dr. Boni Haruna. For, his, for this recognition, I pray that he lives longer to collect more accolades. I went to the university my degree in the late 80s. I didn't meet him there. But for all the students that went there in the 80s and 90s, the biggest name in the university from the old Gongola state was Dahiru Bobo. He left the university as a registrar in 1984. But his good name and his good deeds have refused to leave the university. They remain referral points whenever an example is required for service, dedication, and mitigating wisdom. He left the university to serve as the secretary to the military government of the old Gongola state. Since then, he has been a good resource for Adama and Nigeria. I must say, I have not yet come across any Adama son who has been as useful to the public service from the state to the national as much as Dr. Dahiru Bobo. This still today, as the governor, I have resource, I have recourse to refer to some of reports in the government house library carrying his signature whenever there are issues requiring mitigations in the state. I congratulate Dr. Dahiru Bobo for this recognition. I equally pray that he lives long to be our teacher as always. I congratulate the graduates once again and again. As you receive your diplomas and degrees, I wish you the best of luck and better hunting. As always remember, farewell isn't goodbye. Give back to your alma mater. Thank you and God bless you all. Chancellor, sir, I have the singular honor of inviting the visitor, President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari CFR, to address the convocation. However, he's ably represented by one of our very own, the former Vice Chancellor of this university, Professor Abdullahi Yusuf Ribadu. Your Excellency, Right Honorable Umaru Ahmadu Fintri, Executive Governor of Adama State. Your Excellency, Professor Babagana Umara Zulum, Executive Governor of Borno State. Serving and former members of the National Assembly, I've seen Mohamed Ali Ndume, Senator Ndume, who was my classmate, and Senator elect Mohamed Tahir Mangono. Speaker and members of the Adama State House of Assembly, 
members of the Adama State Executive Council, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Alhaji Abubakar Saad, CFR, the Lamido of Hombina, represented by Galadima Adamawa, Alhaji Mustafa Aminu, the Sheikh of Borno, His Royal Highness Alhaji Umar Ibn Garba El Kanemi, Chancellor, His Royal Majesty Okuku Uwa Umo Adiaka III, Paramount Ruler of Obot Akara in Oka Ibom State, Pro Chancellor Alhaji Muhammad Alhaji Bashir M. Al Hatu, the Wazir in Duse, yeah. the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council, Vice Chancellor Professor Abdullah Liman Tukur, members of the University Governing Council, visiting Vice Chancellors and Head of Tertiary Institutions, former Vice Chancellors of this University. The Convocation Lecturer, Professor Jibreen Ibrahim, Senior Fellow, Center for Democracy and Development. Honorary Awardees, His Eminence, Alhaji Saad Abu Bakar, CFR, Sultan of Sokoto, Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Alhaji Muhammad Indimi, Philanthropist and Businessman, Doctor of Management, Honoris Causa. His Excellency, Boni Haruna, former Governor of Adama State, Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Alhajid Ahiru Bobo, Seasoned Administrator and Educationist, Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa. Service Commanders, Principal Officers of the University, Provost, Deans and Directors, Members of Senate, Members of Congregation, University Staff and Students, Invited Guests, Parents and Guardians, Gentlemen of the Press. Uh, for me personally, this is homecoming. As pointed out earlier, I served as the Vice Chancellor of this university between 2004 and 2009. So I now proceed to read the speech of the visitor to the university and President Federal Republic of Nigeria and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR at the 27th Convocation Ceremony of the Modibo Adama University Yola Adama State on Saturday, 13th May, 2023. I'm profoundly delighted to be here today to be part of the 27th Convocation Ceremony as the visitor to Modibo Adama University Yola Adama State. I congratulate the entire university community on the joy of today. I want to in a special way rejoice with the Chancellor his Royal Majesty Okuku Uwa Umo Adiaka, Paramount Ruler of Obot Akara, and Alhaji Bashir M. Dalhatu, Wazir Induse, the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council. I also felicitate with the Vice Chancellor, Principal Officers, Members of Senate, Staff, Students, Graduates of the University, and our Honorary Awardees, Parents, guardians, well-wishers, and dignitaries on this convocation ceremony. I congratulate the graduates who, having worked hard to complete their various courses, are living testimonies to the beginning of record of their successes and are looking forward to a bright and fulfilling future. The drills you underwent in this university will stand you in the despondent job market. I assure you that your parents Guardians, teachers, and I are proud of you because we have seen the result of your toil and have been found worthy in character and learning to become graduates of this great university. I wish to make this demand on you that you put into practice the skills you have acquired from the university so that you can build a strong career for your future. You should also remember to be good ambassadors of this institution by displaying honesty wherever you find yourselves. Always stand for the truth and be good models so that we can have a corrupt free society. The federal government is not unaware of the funding challenges of university education. Just as education is very important in the life of any individual, it is also the foundation of national development. It is as a result of this fact that the federal government has been working tirelessly to ensure that education is made accessible to many Nigerians as possible through adequate funding and good policy. The government is well informed about the infrastructural deficits in education in the education sector, 
particularly in universities. And as such, deliberate steps are being taken to address these challenges and guarantee the provision of quality education for the citizenry. Progressively, our universities continue to graduate students. While this is commendable, these questions need to be asked. Are the graduates bare literates without skills, or are they really tied to the needs of the society, and are they skillful enough for the services required of them? For this challenge and more, I reiterate our universities to be central institutions of control based on the needs of the society to reposition and encourage impactful education for sustainable development. This can only be achieved through core curriculum minimum academic standards, that is CC mass, teaching relevant contents of the immediate environment. Your vision and mission, knowledge and humanism, should take the lead in championing demand-driven research that will serve the society by improving human lives. I encourage the implementation of most of the numerous researches and studies carried out, as well as findings from presentations made by scholars at national and international conferences. System stands system stand strong when it is stable. It should therefore be our collective determination to do our best to guarantee peaceful and stable future for Nigerians through quality education. The federal government of Nigeria is committed to continue to interface with all the staff unions in the universities in a bid to ensure that we have a stable university education sector that positively contributes to national and global competitiveness. You are aware that the federal government is in negotiation with the university-based unions to address their welfare and working conditions. In our desire to make, such, uh, to make sure that we do not go back to the, era, uh, to the era where less attention is given to the educational sector, the federal government would ensure the full implementation of the budgetary, budgetary allocations to education in the 2023 fiscal year. Huge invest, investment is paramount for universities to achieve their desired goals. The government challenges the university to also look inwards and take a step to be creative and supplement what they receive as allocations and grants from the government. The reality is that university funding cannot be carried out by government alone. I appeal to you as university administrators to work hard, seek for grants by engaging purposeful research to help corporate, uh, to help corporate organizations who are ready to partner with researchers that will engage in research that will solve practical problems. This step will boost the financial status of the university and will help in discharging its functions and responsibilities successfully. Let me conclude by once again congratulating our honorary awardees, our graduates. You have worked hard to earn this honor, both for the honorary awardees and for the graduates. I want to also charge the University Council and management to maintain the tempo of their commitment to the overall development of the university and Nigeria by extension. Thank you and God bless. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. We truly appreciate. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Limantuku, and the entire university community, I thank you all for honoring our invitation, and I wish you journey mercies to your various destinations. Chancellor Sir, may I respectfully invite you to declare the 27th convocation close. I hereby declare the 27th convocation of the Modi Badama University Yola closed. Thank you. May you all rise for the national anthem, please.
watching a live Channel's television event. Television, your home for the news. And even on to our live coverage of the 27th Convocation Ceremony of the Modibo Adama University, holding in Yola, the Adamawa State Capital. And this signals the end of the broadcast.